demand response was the primary driver uh, during our initial uh, smart grid rollout. So certainly it has been at the cornerstone of uh, the vision for us uh, since the beginning. Moving forward, uh, we certainly believe that it will continue to be a primary driver for us at Nashville Electric Service, whether under the dynamic voltage management project, um, reducing the voltage uh, where we can, uh, additional levels to uh, continue to shave that peak and uh, provide financial uh, benefit to uh, ourselves and our customers. Dynamic voltage management for us starts at the substation bus level. The distribution transformers are equipped with load tap changers. Those have two types of controllers. One is the antique, if you will, an analog controller which has no smarts in it and all the way up to more modern stuff that has electronics and communications equipment to it. With the analogs, we're able to intercept the voltage coming from the what they call the potential transformer that feeds information to that tap changer controller module and adjust it to fool the transformer into thinking the voltage is actually too high. Consequently, it will drop the voltage. In the more modern substations where we have electronic low tap changer controllers, we can actually communicate directly with them and raise or lower the taps individually. From there, it goes out to the line. We can monitor all different levels using reclosers or other devices on the line which talk back via RF and eventually to the end of the line where we have our smart meters and we can read those and in this case we're reading them uh, many of them five minute instantaneous voltages that come back through the Landis and Gear grid stream network. One of our key objectives when we started the uh, the automated or the advanced voltage management program uh, was understanding what the impact was at voltage uh, across the network. What we found early on was that there was a tremendous amount of variation at the uh, the distribution transformer that served the customer. So while the, the voltage on the circuit uh, ahead of the transformer might be right in tolerance because of uh, tap settings uh, in the distribution transformer that uh, weren't set properly when the transformer was originally installed perhaps, we were seeing voltages at the customer premise at the meter that were not what we expected at all. And uh, yeah, I don't think any utility has any feel for the, the actual voltage at the meter, uh, uh, you know, where those, uh, where mistakes like that have occurred in the past. And uh, that was, I think, one of the pearls of wisdom that we gained early on was that there's a, a tremendous amount of, of variation and variability and potential for variability uh, at the distribution transformer. Personnel at NES constantly are attempting to predict the next peak. We're checking forecasts to see if the weather's going to have an impact, whether it's going to be cold or hot for the month, and, and see if we can predict when that next peak will occur. Once we've, we've predicted a possible peak, we, we inform our folks in the operations section, uh, system control, and they begin to watch it. Uh, they watch the peak rise, and as, as they begin to see it rising to the point of a new peak, they will enact one of four groups of transformers to uh, lower the voltage. Uh, once those are done to, to the satisfaction to drop the voltage uh, enough to curb that peak, they'll begin to also watch the line voltages, looking at whether it be capacitor banks or reclosers on the lines and even the meters at the end of the lines. And they use that information to make sure that as we deliver power that it stays within the 114 to 126 range, uh, which is the ANSI A range. Over the past 16 months, the benefits, uh, if you will, results from enacting the dynamic voltage management technology at National Electric Service, uh, we believe we've saved approximately 3.25 million uh, on our peak power uh, cost to the Tennessee Valley Authority, uh, which we believe is fairly significant. DVM is a high value, low impact tool that directly benefits the customer because we don't have to raise our rates. They're avoided cost to us and therefore avoided cost to the customers.